Is it just a drink? Or is it more than that? For many, it's the refreshing beginning of the day. The daily bread. The excuse of a gathering. The reason for debates. The device of a plot. The antidote. The fuel. The source of everything. And the escape to nothing. They say that the tea is as old as civilization itself. And over the ages, it's become an integral part of our lives. And for some, it's a way of life. But for these 10 photographers, tea is not only a refreshment, but also the driving force that will push them to their creative limits. Let's see how far they will go for the love of chai. Previously on the Kannan Devan Photography Escapade 3, contestants from all over the country arrived in Munar. They met their mentors who tested their creativity with a warm-up photography exercise. And now it's time for day two. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the day two. And are you ready to shoot today? Yeah. Oh yeah. For that we have some instructions for you. Uh, one of you can take these instruction booklets and pass it on. From today, our photographers begin their journey into Munar. Their objective is to capture the four elements that go into making a refreshing cup of Kannan Devan tea. Earth, wind, fire and water. Today's elements are earth and wind. Throughout their journey, they must find the four talisman, each belonging to the four elements. The hunt for these talisman will lead them to various locations, ideal for photography. The contestants have been divided into two teams. Teamwork is important for them to progress, but it does not affect the photography, as that will be judged individually by the mentors at the end of each day. Both the teams have received their first clue, which are the coordinates to their first location. Internet, yeah. Kya hai map reta yaar? Yeah. How to put that latitude, longitude? I don't know. Latitude is n, 10 degrees. 10 degrees. 10 degrees. 10 degrees. 10 degrees. 10 degrees. The coordinates will point them in the direction of Gudarale Estate. An Anand's team breaks the deadlock. Cloudy out there, but our photographers seem to have found an interesting way to protect their gear. <laughs> Upon reaching the gates of Gudarale, Anand's team received the next clue that will lead them further. Your journey continues on uh, foot when the thumb impression of the tea plantations is the same size of the, as of the thumb of your left hand. Place it in front of it in the same position and arrive at the location your index finger points to find the talisman of finger. Finger. So, see, basically we came from here, our bus is pointing in this direction. Yeah. That means, means it will be as, as big as our Yeah, point. I think. Yeah. Uh, since it's left, left, I think it has to be on the left Okay. Side. All right, let's go. Arjun's team weren't far behind and they also got their clue to the thumb impression. Let's 
keep looking for yellow. They're gonna be really hidden in the the yellow colorful, background. yeah. So double check. Make sure you don't miss any. Along the way, the teams must find red and yellow flags. Red flags mark the boundaries that they must not cross, and the yellow flags mark important locations that are perfect for photography. And all of them seem to be making use of that. The teams are still trying to find out the thumb impression. <laughs> like, like this, right? So you, no. have to, you have to go that place. Mm. Both the teams have figured out that they must go further down the hill in search of the talisman of Earth. They all rendezvous at the plantation. Here the teams are split into colors. Arjun's team picked white and Anand's team picked blue. Both teams continue to search for the talisman. Go, 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 go. So we have to use this. And the game back. No, no, I don't think we have to dig here. We have to yeah. dig near the flag. Oh, do we have a clue? The blue team found the shovel near the shed, but made a wrong choice by moving away from the dig site. We didn't got a flag from here. Yes. While they were busy searching for the talisman in the wrong place, the white team pounced on their error and found the talisman. That is okay, we have three more, two more days. With this, they found the first of the four elements that go into making a refreshing cup of Kanandevan tea. The talisman of earth denotes the richness of fertile soil that is essential to cultivate great tea. It was a long downhill trek for everyone, but it did not happen without good photography. Let's take a look at some of the photographs. You can't be around tea plantations and not have tea. And with all the hard work, the contestants have earned themselves a refreshing cup of Kanandevan tea. And at their tea break, the contestants have a visitor. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Guys having fun? Yeah. Oh yeah. So how was your last game? Oh, was fun. <laughs> so right now we are all standing in the middle of a plantation which belongs to Kanandevan called Gudrale Estate. So this estate is about uh, 2,000 hectares plus uh, with about 1,200 hectares of tea that is being cultivated. So if you look around, you see the plants being planted in a particular fashion. It's called the contoured plantation. Why is it planted that way? This has uh, been researched as one of the most scientific way of getting the maximum yield out of the given area under cultivation. So after explaining the importance of the fertile soil to cultivate a refreshing cup of Kanandevan tea, it is time for our photographers to move on to their next location. <laughs> Their next location would be Silent Valley. The teams must fight another round to get to the next talisman, the talisman of wind. Both teams had to unanimously choose two members from their team who would enter the maze in the woods and find the talisman within it. Kurian and Arjun were the two candidates from the white team who got a five-minute head start 
for finding the previous talisman. The rules are pretty straightforward. They simply have to enter and exit the maze without jumping the barriers. If a photograph can capture a great moment, then a video can capture a great error. In this case, the white team were caught breaking the rule by jumping the barrier. So now, all that the blue team has to do is finish the task without breaking this rule. And they have sent their trusted soldiers, Rahul and Agni. The blue team has found the talisman of wind, the second of the four elements that go into making a refreshing cup of Kanandevan tea. The fresh wind that surround these plantations are essential in cultivating great tea. So you would see in your trip to the Munar and the plantation area, you see how fresh the air is, how clean the water is, and uh, how refreshing it is to be in the surroundings. The environment itself is no, absolutely non-polluted. There is very, very less toxins in the air. So therefore, uh, this is one of the most pristine conditions where a, a plant is grown. And that is what is trans translating into a cup of tea when you drink it. You feel refreshed. So it was a day where both teams shared the spoils. But now it is time for us to see how they performed individually as photographers. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I hope you had a fantastic day of shooting today. Yes. As you know, there are four elements which goes into making one perfect cup of tea. And through the course of activities today, you discovered two of them, earth and wind. And that's what we judge your photos on. I'm sure you're excited about your submission and curious to see what other people have clicked. So let's have a look at your images and we'll discuss them one at a time. Who's this is the first picture? Come on up, Vasanti. So, Vasanti, tell us about the picture. Uh, when we say Mundar, it's about uh, tea. We always uh, tend to click tea plantations. So, what I thought is that truck was carrying tea sacks, and so I thought this is a good uh, picture. I like the color contrast thought you have given in the picture and you have tried to think something new. But uh, personally for me, it's not translating into an interesting photograph at the end of the day. Uh, for me, I appreciate the thought. It's a very different photograph. I didn't imagine anyone take a photo of a tractor. Yeah, it is the most unique picture. So since the time I've been in Munar, I see a lot of greens, obviously. We have greenery everywhere. And more than that, I see a lot of patterns. So I wanted to capture this in my own way with a very good composition and adding a human element to it. I think your thought translates quite well in this. The layers and the hues of green you have played with here, of course, and the, the element part of it really comes out well. If you would have clicked the person when he was slightly ahead. I absolutely agree and respect your thought on that, but uh, I wanted only one person in the frame so that, you know, the frame does not look very crowded. Overall, yes, it translates, it brings the theme out very nice. Yes, it's a very good effort. Yes, thank you. I really love this picture. For me, it sort of resonates the feeling of freshness, brings out nature and I like the fact you're really close up in the tea leaves. Overall, I'd say it's a, it's a terrific picture. It communicates the, the angle of nature, of freshness, refreshment. I agree with Aditya. It's, I think, one of the strongest submissions. Quite refreshing. The element part comes out really nicely. There's a lot of ground, there's a lot of what's growing on ground. And I think the wind part also comes out nicely. So elements are pretty perfect in a way. But of course, the composition part, you could have rather moved down and used the shallow depth of field. And probably you could have cropped this area. And maybe this photo could have started from this side. If you spend more time on it, you could have made the picture come to a different level. The mentors went through the photographs of each contestant. While it was the first day for the photographers, our mentors gave them constructive feedback to prepare them for the coming days. And now, it's time to announce the best photograph of the day. So the picture of the day goes to Bhavna. Bhavna, please come on. So 
So guys, this wraps up our today's session. And tomorrow we are going to have a new day, new challenges, totally new weather, new landscapes. So it's going to be very exciting. And remember the most important thing, less is more. Keep it simple. Catch episode 3 for some exquisite landscapes and a place abundant in happiness and smiles as we continue onwards in the Kanandevan Photography Escapade 3.